Guys, what a week it was for the young American, Gio Reyna, 17 years old. He comes off the bench for Dortmund in the Champions League against PSG and not only plays well, but gets the game-winning assist. Ale, just how good is this kid? <laughs> well, good enough to where Lucien Favre when he needs somebody to make a difference in the attack for Borussia Dortmund in a Champions League knockout round, he calls on, yes, Gio Reyna, and he says, you are the guy who's going to make a difference for us. You are the guy who's going to find a pass for us. You are the guy who can break down a defense. That tells you a whole lot about Gio Reyna, much more so than whatever performances you see from him, and he has been impressive, is the fact that the coach, in a position of pressure, in a moment of pressure, in a moment where you need productivity, you call on Gio Reyna to make the difference, and he did. Eric, what do you make of the performance? performance I mean it tip my hat to him he's 17 years old he just turned 17 in November Ali already said when it's crunch time when they when the chips are down when you need somebody to make a play he's turning to the bench to a 17 year old player who by the way happens to be part of US men's national team royalty his father was a very good player himself so he's had a very good a good coach growing up this is a talented player a player who's ready to explode playing in one of the best youth setups in the world and he's showing why. I mean, PSG uh, is a very good club, very good players. And he came on, and he made an immediate impact on the field. Uh, this is a player who's going to keep gaining dividends as he grows, as he gets comfortable in his own skin. Let me repeat, he's 17 years old. We haven't even seen the best of him yet. Can I just tell you, Seb, that, that, that I think what's really helping Gio Reyna here is the setup in which he is at Borussia Dortmund, a team that is not afraid of playing young guys and getting productivity from young guys and saying, you know what, if we think you're good enough, we're not going to go through this whole seniority deal. We're going to put out the players that we think can truly help us in the immediate and can help us in the future. And so when he's out there and he's making a difference, he's validating the approach that Borussia Dortmund takes. It is a perfect setup right now for Giovanni Reina in what he's doing with Borussia Dortmund. All right, let's talk about what he could be doing with the U.S. men's national team on the senior level. Now, a couple months ago, in this very space, we had Herc build his ideal 11 if everybody was healthy for Greg Berhalter. We'll take a look at that now, and we'll focus on the front three. Jordan Morris, Josie Altador, Paul Ariola, and we know Ariola now is out with a long-term injury. I'm looking at this starting 11. Ale, is Gio Reyna ready to start in this starting 11? When we had this discussion back then, we also mentioned that Gregor Holter was opening the talent pool and the player pool to just about everybody who was available because he was looking for options. He was searching for a guy that could be helpful to the team this very moment. And if Gio Reyna is good enough to be an option, to come off the bench in Champions League, in a knockout round, when you need a goal yes, at home, yes. then let me tell you something, he is good enough to play and at least be in the picture of the national team as we speak. The kid has proven he can play at a high level. The United States need a lot of those players out on the field. I mean, Seb, are you really asking this question? I think it's a no-brainer. You have to. You have to get Gio Reyna minutes. You have to get him time. He's already going to be part of the pool. I don't think that's the question. I think your that's question not about the question. The question is, into that should he be a be, starter? Could be a very, very good question. Yes, yes, absolutely. Who's, who's going who's gonna to play over him right now? Paul Ariel is out with an ACL injury. He can immediately slot in. I think most fans will be salivating at the thought of getting him, Tyler Adams, of getting Christian Pulisic, of getting Weston McKinney all on the field together. This is a playmaker. He keeps growing in confidence every time he touches the ball with Borussia Dortmund. Could you imagine if he puts on that U.S. Men's National Team shirt? How confident he can be? How his game can be taken to the next level? Greg Berhalter doesn't have the luxury of turning players like this away. Times have changed. Yes, it is easier to get a U.S. Men's National Team call-up, but nobody who's ever played in one of the best teams in the world like Borussia Dortmund playing in Champions League has ever been turned away, and today will not be the exception. I'll, I'll, ask this, I'll answer the question by asking a question and saying, well, if it's not him, then who? If it's not him, exactly. then who's a better option right now as we speak with all the injuries in, in this group for the national team, who's a better option than Gio Reyna? I don't see it. What about the concern, Ale, of making a starter out of a guy who's not yet a starter on his club team? He hasn't even started 
a non-friendly match for his club team. That doesn't you're, worry you. You're comparing right, CONCACAF with wait Champions wait minute, League. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But yeah, okay, okay, backtrack. You, you, honestly, sometimes, Seb, <laughs> yes. you, you, you know I, I, I have strong feelings about you, and most of them are not all that positive. <laughs> I, I, can, can I just tell you, if you put Jordan Morris somewhere outside of the Seattle Sounders in one of the top teams in the Bundesliga, would he be starting? The answer is no. I'll tell you the answer. The answer is no. He would not be starting right now, as we speak, for Borussia Dortmund. Gio Reyna is in a different level altogether in terms of what he does on a daily basis. So to make that assessment and say, well, he's not starting for his club team. Okay, well, guess what? He could come back to MLS and start every game. Would that make you happy, Seth? No, uh, it wouldn't. There are a lot of people <laughs> noticing what Gio Reyna is doing. Uh, they're not just U.S. fans, Ale. Some people in Argentina have taken note. Reports out of Argentina that the Federation is, uh, in air quotes, monitoring the now 17-year-old. Uh, I want to read you this quote that uh, Ole, a daily in Argentina, published. Uh, this was from Reyna after the PSG match when he was asked about it. Argentina, no comment. I don't have much to say about it. I'm focused on the United States. Uh, Alejandro. If, if a national team like Argentina really comes calling, can a player ignore that? I think you can. If you are all about U.S. of A. and that's where you were born and that's what you did, or, or, or at least that's where you feel your connection with, then yes, I think you can turn that down. Uh, the, the truth is that this is a personal choice. If you were asking me, and, and, and my feelings about the national team, I would have played for Venezuela and nobody else because that's how strong my connection is with my country. If Gio Reyna feels that strongly about the good old United States of America, then let me tell you something. It's all about then making a difference with that national team. Yeah? It's the land of the free and home of the brave. And if he feels that connection, let me tell you, just play for the US of A and make it the best team you possibly can. This guy comes from U.S. men's national team royalty. His father, in the eyes of many, is one of the best players that this country has ever produced. There is no way he's played every single level, youth national team level, with the U.S. men's national team, youth national teams, and then all of a sudden switches to Argentina, and his father is who he is. There is no debate when it comes to this. That's why he said no comment. He doesn't want to offend another nation that he certainly feels ties to. But like Ali said, if you give him the choice, and it seems like he's already made his choice, it's going to be the U.S. men's national team. Well, uh, down in Argentina, they're saying, no cerró la puerta to his no comment. Yeah, he didn't close the door. Uh, the second leg for Dortmund against PSG, March 11th. We wait to see more from Reina in the Champions League. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.